Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share some very awesome books and authors that I've stumbled across recently with all the hype lately about different books, different authors, people reading. I wanted to focus on more Christian and inspirational titles and authors. So this is what I've come across and a lot of, I feel like there's not as much in those genres when it comes to like faith and christian based so i know i looked for books like this when i was you know digging into this subject area so here are a couple of my top authors and books first of all the lady that made me very very interested in this topic was Mrs. Francine Rivers, and this is the first book I read by her. It's Redeeming Love. It's been out for quite some time. They also made a movie now. Read the book first. It's amazing. So she has a couple, actually she has a good amount of books. The other one that I read was um, The Masterpiece. That one is amazing. It's about, it's faith-based. This one is set in like the gold mine era and like the gold rush and um, you just gotta read it. I'm not gonna give you no spoilers, but if you're interested, look it up, read it, it's amazing. So, but the masterpiece, the one I'm talking about, I don't have it right now. It's set in like our, our time period. So it's also amazing. So this one I would recommend by her. This one, uh, Francine Rivers, sorry about the glare, the lighting is bad right now. The Last Sin Eater. I'm working through it. It's not like her other books. It's very, it's different, but I think I'll like it. So these two are amazing. Now, as far as biblical fiction, sometimes you just, like lately I've been reading the Bible, but it's so hard to understand it. So I'm like, there's gotta be books that like go along with, say for the story about Esther or like Egypt and the people leaving Egypt, the slaves and everything. There's got to be stories to go with it that I can read and like experience it for myself. That's not nonfiction, but it's fictional. And I'm like, okay, I'm part of the story. So I already read the, it's called Out of Egypt series by the same author. This series I just grabbed. Her name is Conlin Consetti. Oh, she's got four in this series. So these series are called Cities of Refugee. Oh my goodness, it's dropping. And it sticks with, like this one, it says, recently widowed, brief girl refuses to submit to the Torah law, compelling her to marry her husband's brother and instead flees Kadesh. But Rivka soon discovers that the cost of recklessness is her own freedom. So it follows like the Old Testament and the laws, how they grew up, like how the people had to follow the laws and then it interwines everything and then it makes you feel like you're reading the bible but there's a backstory to everything so i just love that she can weave the story in such a way that we can understand it like i have i do a bible study and half the time i'm rereading the paragraph like what did i just read so this makes it a little bit easier so i would recommend her um this author conlin consetti the other one, like I said, is called Out of Egypt, and there's three books. So it's about the Hebrews getting led out of Egypt by Moses and like their life in the desert for those 40 years. Amazing. Along that topic, this book had me hooked. I read it in two days. It's called Daughters of Eden, so it makes me think there's another one coming out. But it goes through Adam and Eve when they're in the garden and how they get kicked out pretty much for eating from the fruit from the tree they're not supposed to the fruit that's forbidden and then how they live how they have to learn to live on their own pretty much how they end up having you know nations and what comes out of their nations and it's just it makes you wonder it makes you think and there were times where i'm like wait there's no way that happened. Let me go look in the Bible. And I look in the Bible, I'm like, oh wait, it does say that. It's amazing, it makes you think. And 
I think it's a good read. So this is by Jill Eileen Smith and it's just came out in 2023 so I'm sure she has other books. I just don't have them yet. But next we have, so actually let me start with this one. Angela Hunt, she has, <clears throat> excuse me, has a bunch of different ones. Um, this is the one I'm working on. It's called Esther. So it follows the um, Jewish orphan living in Susa is forcibly taken to the palace of the pagan ruler. After months of preparation, the girl known to the Persians as Esther wins the king's heart in, a, in, his, in queen's crown, sorry. But because her situation is uncertain, she keeps her authentic identity a secret until she learns that an evil and ambitious man has won the king's permission to exterminate all Jews. So it follows her story and it makes you feel like you're part of the story also. So I like her stuff. And then this one, she is the same author, but she co-wrote it with, what's his name? Oh no, it is based on all her, but they made a movie out of it. So Paul, Apostle of Christ. I haven't read this one yet, but I do have it. I found it at the thrift store. So I have it also that I need to get into. And then this one, it's co-written with Janet Oak. She writes a lot of like Amish and Mennonite stories, like Love Comes Softly, she wrote that series. So she writes this with Davis Bunn. And this is about Pontius Pilate and his wife. So Pontius Pilate was the guy that what did he do? He washed his hands clean of um, Jesus's crucifixion, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's the guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So it follows that. And I haven't read this one either, but I went to the library and I like put everything on hold that was in this, this genre. And I was like, I'm going to read it. I need to get exposed to more of these authors because before I would read um, like it wasn't biblical fiction. It was just like you know, Christian, but I would read the Amish ones, the Mennonite ones, the like Love Comes Softly series. And they're all great, but I feel like that genre gets so redundant, like over and over the same thing and you already know what's gonna happen and the plot twist and everything. It's kind of like too repetitive. So I wanted something different. So these are a couple of my go-to authors. For sure, um, Francine Rim Rivers, if you're just dipping your toes in this, she is amazing um and then like the new ones i just mentioned that i'm already hooked on so maybe they give you a couple inspiration you know some ideas to go out and actually read them for yourself i hope you guys enjoy